Well, I was the uh, contractor that ran the and the government employee before that that ran all the interpretive programs at the centre. So we were open, uh, it's a very beautiful centre, we're open, we were open nine until nine, uh, seven days of the week throughout the summer months and then May and June we did school programs and in September we would do school programs as well. So mostly stuff for kids? Yeah, uh, in the summer it's definitely camping families, uh-huh. tourists from all over the world. Uh-huh. And in the spring and in the fall, it was school programs for mm-hmm. the local school area. Yeah. And, the, and the funding for that's been cut now. Yeah, the funding was cut probably about five years ago, uh-huh. and so a, the, a non-profit society called the Friends of West Kootenay Parks took the visitor center under their wing, right. and <clears throat> spent the last four years fundraising. Mm-hmm for the center, but this last year they pulled back because they realized that it really does need to be government funded, hmm. that it really cannot be run on donations from, um, from organizations. So the, yeah, the center itself really does need, uh, all of interpretation in this province does need to have government support. Um, Interpretation is so important to teach young people about our environment, about our natural world, uh, about our um, about our connection to everything, our interconnection with everything. So I find that it it's a shame that it can't be um, supported by uh, the government. I think all of us have memories of going to a provincial park and having a campfire, and going to the amphitheater and watching the shows and learning about bears and learning about spiders and. And it's at that young age that you can teach children uh-huh. and they take messages out to their families and to their parents and their brothers and sisters and mm-hmm. there's a ripple effect that occurs and I, I think that that mm-hmm. uh, is so important and you know we've really been struggling with interpretation in this province, all the different interpretive centers we used to have and all the different programs and mm-hmm. it, it's a real ad hoc thing and it needs to come under a, a, a government supported umbrella again. Mm-hmm.